Hey guys, in today's video, we're going to go over a simple hack to get more Google reviews, a simple hack to get more Google reviews. So yeah, in today's video, it's going to be a pretty short and quick one, but we're going over a simple hack to get more Google reviews. One of which, and I'm going to show you, if we could, we'll dive right in. Um, and if you don't have the standard operating procedure on how to do this, um, just make sure to comment below and I'll give you the standard operating procedure on how to do this. But one of which, if you go to most of my sites, you ever see a site that has this up here, it's probably mine where I've worked on it. So if you click on write a review, this is going to pull out, if you will, that specific Google My Business location or that specific GMB's LRD and Lucid ID information. It's a string code along with search. So it's not just a pop up that says, hey, give me a review. It's actually a string code. Okay, how do I get that to appear on here? Besides, obviously, you know, laying it out, designing it to be such, we go over to Plepper. And let's say I wanted to do, I'm just going to pull one quality discount roofing, right? Let's say it was this one. I'm going to go over to maps. First thing first, go over to maps and you're going to get this bit of code up here, right? And then go over to Plepper, I'm going to go to tools. You're going to go link review generator and you're going to generate a piece of code which is what we need you're going to put in quality discount roofer hit generate the link when it generates the link it's going to give you the string code that you need in google search so it pops up you test it and it should <clears throat> pop up just as such so now it has the, if you will, the code, and it has the Lucid ID, and it has the LRD and all that. And I take this, and then I associate it with this. All right, so that's going to be how I get that there. Then also, like always, I want to put my, embed my code, you know, embed my reviews on the site, everything else like I normally do as an embed text reviews down here which are all attached over to the GMB listings every single one of these if you were to click on it goes to the reviewers name their reviews they left because it increases proximity then I have a PDF I created down here in which if you open it it goes over to once again all the reviews all linked over to the reviewers profile okay which is attached to that specific area now a lot of times <clears throat> people get really concerned the next one is people get really 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 concerned if you will with negative reviews so how do i respond to reviews so if you're managing your reviews there's many 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 things that you should be doing and if you don't have it yet i actually have a pdf a free ebook per se, that I would like to give you. And it's 20 pages, and when I go through how to get good reviews, how to manage reviews, why are reviews important, how to deal with negative reviews and everything. So what we're gonna deal with next, I know I get this question a lot, well, how do you deal with negative reviews? And a lot of people, they want to get rid of negative reviews. For the most part, what the stats actually tell us is that if someone has nothing but positive reviews, it's actually a bad thing, okay? Because the number one factor that people use is to judge whether or not they should even use you are your ratings. And when someone looks at your ratings and they see nothing but immaculate reviews, you look faker, you know, you they don't trust you. There's a trust factor that goes into it and everything, you know. Reviews are just extremely important, but then a lot of times people go, okay, for example, oh my God, I got a negative review. What should I do with it? 
So for me, number one, when you're managing your reviews, you want to always, I'm going to show you this once again, you'll go into your reviews and here's something a lot of people don't do. I call them happy signals. So you always, 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 always want to make sure you upvote or like other positive reviews because these are what we call happy signals, all right? Or at least what I call them. Three to four, you know, four to five star reviews, I do that. Now, how do I respond to this? You can definitely tell that I responded to this because of the fact it's a long ass response. I'm not going to give that a thumbs up. He'd probably give it his own thumbs up. But let's say, for example, this guy wrote this long, long, long review. Well, most people don't understand, for example, that you can actually put about a thousand word response inside of a negative review or any review. But in specific, I want to do that to a negative review. Why? Because I'm going to stuff as many of my keywords and services and et cetera information about my company inside that negative review. It shows people several things. I am responding. When you don't respond to reviews or negative reviews, what it basically shows people, it's not like, oh my God, I'm not responding. It's this guy don't give a shit. This business owner don't give a shit. So I would rather respond. The second factor is don't wait days to respond. You should be responding to your reviews same day, in my opinion. You know, it shows that you're active in your business, that you actually care. Now, to respond to reviews, I personally use Jarvis. And they have something called Review Responder. What you could personally do, you take this happy little do go lucky dingleberry's name, D'Amico Cherry. And then I go in here and I go in, this is quality discount roofing, right? And I want to take this long, long, long response review. I'm going to slap it in here as much as possible, right? So we're able to put in here most of it up until here. So I want to respond to every one of these reviews. And I go generate AI content. And I'm going to respond to this review. <clears throat> the worst thing you could do is not respond. And then I'll use this to respond to them. And then I may even come in here and say, well, it's obvious you never used our excellent metal roofing repair services that are located in Jacksonville, Florida. Because if you had, you would have noticed on our testimonials page how many outstanding testimonials we have regarding our roofing services. You know, I would actually encourage <clears throat> and I would show and I would stuff that entire thing with nothing but good, positive, if you will, feedback and information about our services. Another thing we can do that will help push down, if you will, negative reviews is by using local guide accounts or find people that are actually local guides to actually leave reviews, okay? And push negative reviews down. Now, <clears throat> most people, their biggest problem is they don't respond. So make sure you're always responding. Once again, if you don't have my PDF on how to hack and how you should respond, and I go over how to, you know, how to fix things when it comes to reviews and how to get better reviews, you want to make sure you go and get it. One of the ways is collecting email addresses during your billing cycle, emailing your customers for reviews, ask your customers, use in store um, place cards, use review reminders on your website, and use incentives, but don't buy them. Okay. Delight your customers with a great experience, and trust me, they're going to leave a review. I hope you like this vic video on hacks and tips. Make sure you drop a comment below to get my PDF. Have a great day. I have so many
many SEOs that hate me and say that I'm still in their methods. They bitching and cry, labeling me SEO Black Hatter was a nobody. Now I'm at the top, most wanted, most loved, bad business owners, and hated by most SEO opponents. You think you're an SEO guy?